Good afternoon, everybody. This is Ms. Jacobusi coming you live from my kitchen. Um, I like to sit at my countertop and on a stool and draw. Um, I hope all of you guys are doing well and staying safe, washing your hands, enjoying some family time or just time at home, um, keeping busy. So I just wanted to do some drawing with you guys today, um, just some random, intuitive, symmetrical drawing. Uh, whenever I draw, I love to draw trillium. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to set my camera up here on a candle that I have. I just have pencil, pens. I have colored pencils. Um, when I was a girl, I always loved to walk in the back of my dad's woods. Um, he has trilliums. They're white flowers that come up in the spring. So a lot of times whenever I draw, I always draw trilliums and you can see they're pretty symmetrical flowers. So I always just start drawing just by sketching and just adding in some just different random fun lines. And, you know, art is always just a great, great thing to do um, when you have a lot of extra time on your hands like we do now. Um, and you can make art with most anything you have at home. If you have an old book that you're done reading, you could always draw on those pages, draw over the letters that are in the book. Um, and just use pencil, pen, anything that you have available. I've even seen posts where people, you can take tea, or you could take um, coffee and you could actually paint and make monochromatic paintings and monochromatic is just one color plus white. So I also love to shade. And here I'm just adding some just random fun lines to my trillium and just kind of going with my feelings and intuition. Just drawing. I'll add some fun lines in the background. And I think I'll add a little color. So I'm going to have to see what color greens I have. I have this green. So I'll go ahead and add a little pop to the base. And if you push down hard, you'll get a dark, push down light, soft. I think I'll get this lighter green. And I kind of like seeing some of the white of the paper through there too, just for fun. And sometimes it's fine also, I know leaves are green, but you could always add a little blue or just another color in there just to kind of make it pop, so I think, or even purple, just for fun. I like to overlap and layer colors. Maybe purple, let's do that. See what it looks like. It could be part of that shadow of the leaf, or it could be just its own color. I think I'll add some yellow to the middle. Maybe a little orange.
These flowers are actually white, so I'm just gonna add a little pop. So I'm adding a little pen. And it doesn't, I kind of like, like the randomness of the lines. They don't have to be perfect. Just fun. And I'll go ahead and end the video here. But just try to get out in nature. If you see something that's interesting, you can just keep, study it. If you go for a walk today, if you have a dog that you need to walk, just pay attention to see what's blooming out right now or coming out and then go home, sketch it out. See what you come up with. Have a good day, everybody. I'll talk to you soon.